You look right at home in there, Izo. I've been in much tighter spots than this, McCoy. I'll bet. But this is only the beginning. You ready to supply me some answers? I wish I had something to say. I know your hands are dirty, Izo. Everybody in this world is trying to better himself, no matter what the terms are. If that counts as dirty, so be it. The terms of your conviction won't be too clean. I'll be through with this place long before you, McCoy. Yeah, I'm sure you've been saving up for a rainy day, selling all those illegal weapons. One never knows when fate will conspire. You must be prepared. You're a real trooper, Izo. You look right at home in there, Izo. Hey. Tough day, McCoy. <laughs> huh? What you do, huh? What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. Run! Run! What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. Run! Run! Hold on, an ambulance will be coming. You must warn the twins. Up, up there, up the stairs. The twins, did they do this? No. Tall men with dreadlocks. The bomber. And a, another with beard. Piercing eyes. What did they want? The TNA information. Don't... God forgive me. 
I told them, told them about the twins. <laughs> Don't shoot. McCoy, Rep Detect, BR-61661. What do you know about this? Got a dead man here, victim of an explosion. His name is, uh, was Miraji. He was able to give me a description of the two perps just before he bought the farm. Yeah? They skin jobs? Or are you just in the right place at the wrong time? I'm practically waxing their tails, officer. I'm that close. But I don't have a lot of time. You mind, uh... Mopping up here? Just do me a favor and kick some rep ass, okay? It's high time someone got them illegals off the street. Appreciate it. This is 32 Sector 3 reporting a homicide, possible act of terrorism. Don't miss anything. There ain't nothing left, Detective. You got a sheet or something we could cover them with? Nah, nothing. Cold Cup boys have been dragging ass. I recognized the logo on the envelope. It was definitely Runsitter's animal sales, but I didn't expect to find hundreds of chinion inside. I didn't know what it was for, but I'd bet the farm it wasn't on Runsitter's books. Hello, Luther. Hello, Lance. You have no new messages and one saved voice-only message. Would you like to hear the saved message again? Absolutely. Hello, it's J.F. Sebastian. I hope you guys are all right. I tried to talk to Dr. Terrell about, uh, about your reinstatement, reemployment, but I haven't been able to get through to him yet. He's kind of angry, and you know what a cool customer he is. I don't know what happened between you guys, but I'm still trying. If, if, if you want to get together, I'm still at the Bradbury. I'll be here all night. Message saved automatically. To delete, please state your deletion security number. Not right now. Thanks. The pleasure's all ours at Sino Bell. The vid phone was one of those old Zenith jobs, the last electronic tech that was still produced on this continent, in Mexico to be exact. No wonder the sucker was on the blink. What you want? I'm busy. Excuse me. Deliveries to rare. LPD, I got a couple of questions. Hmm. Talk, talk, talk. Always talk. You wait. You no take up time. Busy, busy. Marcus Eisendaler is dead. Uh, okay, we, we, we talk. Quick, quick, come. What you want? You were close to Eisendaler? Eisendaler? <laughs> no, no, no time for him. No go to lab. Eisendaler test off world gravity to work important organs. Visual center, you see? Marcus is dead. To work hard all night, all day, no stop, no break, no OT. Did you hear me? Of course I hear you! You think I'm deaf? <laughs> Your time more important, huh? Eisendaler dead. Mirachi may be dead. You out chasing skirts? Mirachi? You eat supper with Mirachi every night, no fail. Sometimes Chinese, sometimes Indian, sometimes home cook. Sometimes we go up and eat with twins. Mirachi didn't show. Did you call him? I call. I knock. Ten minutes ago, door locked. No answer. Where you come from, huh? What? Nothing, nothing. Listen to me. 
Busy, busy. You not delivery man. You go away. General, uh, distraction all day long. Never stop. Loud noises on the street. Beep, beep, bong, bong, bong. <sighs> Always make me drop eyes. That'd be Dermo design burning to the ground. Oh? What... What of Marathi? He didn't make it. You leave now, okay? Very busy. Must work. Must work. <sighs> What's Sebastian been up to lately? Sebastian? <laughs> he do what always do, nervous system. Very important to Dr. Terrell. Where do I find him? He had old building down the alley. Uh, Bradbury Hotel, I think. You walk down the alley, you find it. You mentioned twins. Yes, yes. Luther and Lance. Siamese twins. Live about Miraji. They're genetic designers? Were. <laughs> Till last month. Got the boot. Shit can. From who? Big boss. Who else? And if I didn't tell them, you go ask them. I waste no more time. You think I, I nose around everybody's business, huh? Miraji's some kind of DNA designer? Yeah. Subcontractor like me. <laughs> he funny, though. Like old movies. Miraji Master Chef. Twins go crazy when he cooks. <laughs> Marcus Eisendaler is dead. You might consider knocking off work early. What next is six want with me, huh? I just do eyes. Busy, busy. Must make deadline. Hey, yeah. What about this Lance? What kind of guy is he? Why, he like Luther, only different. Don't know which which. That so? One long hair, talk a lot, da, 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 always make deal. Other more quiet, work much harder. What kind of deals? Sell this, sell that, no matter what weather. Like salesman. <laughs> Very hard to take, no trust, no way. Did Lance sell something to Runsetter? Who? Never heard of Runsetter. No time for charades. Sound like this, sound like that, uh, look like this. Uh, uh, oh, like a... Sorry to bother you. It was some kind of freakish toy, half mechanical, half organic, rep technology for sure, but no one was going to give me any retirement bonus for it. Resuming interrupted print job. Nothing more to find. Nothing more to find. Nothing more to find.
DNA research. Incept dates. A lot of jargon, but I'd bet my spinner it was valuable to somebody. Enough! Oh, you think he found us, man? One of the design subcons must have talked. Unstable personalities, to say the least. Told you we should have blown up the old block. It would have created problems down the line. We got problem now, man. This one? He's not a problem. He's an opportunity. You're weak, my friend. I expected so much more from you. I'm thinking our brother not hearing too good. Oh, he hears us. Isn't that right, McCoy? You ready to give up fruitless nightmare man? Come back to family? He doesn't have a choice. He never did. Let me kill him, man. No. We got no time to be patient. The girl, she's sick. She no gonna get no better. That's where you're wrong, Sadiq. She will live. Maybe. But this one, he got it coming bad. Believe me, he's the least of our problems. You're talking crazy. The hunter be dangerous. A fool sees not the same tree a wise man sees. I'm no fool, man. You must have a little faith, my friend. Without contraries, there's no progression. How can you trust any of their kind? We have been manipulated by them, correct? Now they're going to see exactly what lies on the other side of the horizon. How long have I been here, Lucy? How do you know my name? I saw your things at Runciter's. Did you feel bad when they killed those animals? They were so pretty and sweet. I hoped Father wouldn't do it. But Mr. Runciter deserved retribution. That's what Father said. Why? Because he treated me bad, like I belonged to him. I'm sorry. Are you really the hunter? Like Father says? It's my job. Why? What do you have against us? Nothing. It's just... the law. Would you hurt me? I promise you I won't. <laughs> Father will be back soon.
It felt and smelled like real cheese. Dairy products were choice contraband, scarce and mucho expensive. Selling them was a class A felony. Hysteria Hall was an arcade down near Nightclub Row. Strange. You let them in my room? They had a warrant, mister. What was I supposed to do? They took my pictures. Couldn't stop them! How about me? You think I'm easy to stop? Who the hell are you? McCoy, LPD. LPD, huh? Maybe you guys can return something to me. How do you know we got it? One of your own. Invaded my property. Bad haircut. Stupid coat. The other guy. What other guy? Go play dumb. What about him? Nothing. I just thought you were gonna arrest me, that's all. I don't care about your little run-in with the manager, okay? I'm looking for a couple of replicants. Can't help you there, friend. Maybe the clerk can tell me who was renting that room back there. Why were you hassling him? He let these creeps in my room. I'm a very private person. What do they got against you? Nothing, friend. I ain't done nothing. We're all innocents, aren't we? Damn straight. And I don't like people asking questions either. Just help me out here a little more. You seen a big Rasta guy around here? Or a guy with a beard and dark eyes? A Rasta? What's that? He's got dreadlocks. Talks with an accent. Oh. No, I ain't seen no one like that. Look, my mother's waiting for me. You stick around. Maybe the manager will come back. I didn't know who was working this side of the pool, but whoever it was, they'd been pretty thorough going through the joint. I doubted if there was anything I could find that hadn't already been snagged and bagged. Yes? I'm looking for J.F. Sebastian. That's me. McCoy, LPD. You had a break-in? I... I don't think I called anyone. I was already here. I was chasing one of the perpetrators. Well, everything's all right now. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. You may think you can, but believe me, you can't. Better if I check it out. Well, if you insist. I don't think they took anything. I don't really have anything here of any value. You work for Tyrell Corporation? Yes, sir. I'm one of the principal design engineers for Dr. Tyrell. He's a very nice man. You know, he even fronted me the money to buy this building. It's a landmark, you know. You really should see the front edifice. They put some amazing detail into it. You feeling all right? Oh, sure. 
I'm fine. You wouldn't be hiding anybody, would you? No, sir. There's nobody here but me and my friends. What friends? Good evening, dear. Evening, General. See? I make friends. He almost looks real. He's plenty real enough for me. And real good company, too. Look, I gotta check the premises again. Maybe they left something behind. Well, if you want to take a look, go on ahead. I can't stop you. But please be careful in my lab. You got it. You know the design subcons down in the row, Miraji and Chu? I've heard of them, but I've never seen them. I don't go in for the parties and stuff, and I never go down to the row. You ever work with a Dr. Eisendoller? We're in different fields. I'm in basic biogenetic design, and he works on the practical application of off-world physics. He seems to be a very nice man. Who happens to be dead. Dead? He was murdered, probably by a replicant. But replicants aren't allowed on Terra. But they're here, nonetheless. And who do you think they'll start looking for next? How well do you know Dr. Tyrell? Oh, I'm not sure anyone really knows him. But I can tell you this, he's a great man, and a brilliant genetic designer. Dr. Terrell and I play chess every week. I've only beaten him once. What do you think the deal was with Runciter and the twins? Deal? I don't think I understand. Runciter was paying the twins for something. I saw the cash hidden inside a statue. How would I know? Come on, Sebastian. I heard you on the machine. You guys are buddies, right? There were rumors that the twins were selling some of the animal prototypes to him. You think that had something to do with their being fired? Dr. Terrell doesn't like anyone going around behind his back. So, Tyrell would really be pissed if he knew Luther and Lance were helping renegade replicants. You... You're a Blade Runner, aren't you? Bingo. But you said you were here about the burglary. The guys who broke in might be replicants. What in the world would a replicant want from me? You worked on the Nexus 6 series, didn't you? Just a little bit. Would you say that the 6s are smarter than the old 4s and 5s? They're supposed to be. Stronger and more agile, too. So, maybe they want to learn more about themselves. Maybe they want to pick your brain about their brains. I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Hawker Circle.
She looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. G 
China Bar. Interesting. Give me a hard copy of that. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Give me a hard copy of that. That can't be me. Give me a hard copy of that. That's damn strange. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days.
It was the trick still. He said Pat doesn't have a mink coat. She's got a good Republican cloth coat. That's all. You're wrong, sweetie. It was Herbert Hoover. I'm sorry, but I was there. Well, if anything, you were all of three years old back then. I still remember it, like it was yesterday. And he said fur coat, not mink. I saw it on the discovery disk. 